Everyone, I know we talk about Republican lawmakers losing their minds a lot, but seriously, they're turning the Capitol into a Jerry Springer show. It got really crazy this week. Um, yesterday in a Senate hearing, Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, yes, his first name is Mark Wayne. I guess his parents couldn't just uh, agree on one name, <laughs> so they gave him two. Uh, but Senator Mark Wayne Mullen almost got into an, a physical fight with a witness named Sean O'Brien. O'Brien is the general president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. And he was testifying before a committee hearing. They have some history. About a year ago or so, they had some words in another hearing. Um, Mullen is a Republican senator from o Oklahoma. He is also a former martial arts fighter. And apparently his feelings got hurt. He, he, his fifis got hurt because of tweets that O'Brien had written calling him a clown and a fraud. But again, this goes back a ways. They had some words in another hearing because this senator, apparently his dad left him a plumbing business. He then took it and made it much bigger, you know, turned it into a success. And then these Teamsters tried to unionize at his plumbing company. So he's got personal beef with O'Brien and O'Brien started calling him on the mat and questioning, you know, well, how much do you make? And, you know, saying that he was, a, he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth that, you know, he's never really worked hard. So this goes back, but you know, what, what precipitated this is the tweets, which is ridiculous. And, you know, this, this is what, Trumple Thinskin has done to the so-called men in the Republican Party. Take a look. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been. Always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. If you want to run your mouth, we can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold, stop it. Is that your solution? Every no, no, sit down. Oh, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Active. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> and then around the same time, um, or I guess it was earlier in the day from uh, now that I'm thinking about it, former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy, also a Republican, he allegedly assaulted another Republican House member who voted to oust him from his position last month. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett was standing in a hallway. He was giving an interview and McCarthy passed by with his security detail. And according to Burchett, McCarthy elbowed him in the back and shoved him. The reporter actually said uh, in an interview on MSNBC that, yeah, he kind of lurched forward about a foot so you know he he did appear to get shoved so Burchett takes off he chases McCarthy down he's yelling at him you know hey Kevin why'd you do that why'd you elbow elbow me in the back McCarthy told Burchett you know I didn't do that I didn't elbow you and then Burchett yelled back quote you got no guts you did so the reporter said it right there what kind of chicken move is that so McCarthy just kind of laughed. He turned and walked away. And then Burchett continued to yell at him. He called him childish and a jerk. And McCarthy, McCarthy claims he just simply bumped into Burchett. And he told CNN, quote, I guess our elbows hit as I walked by. If I would hit somebody, they would, I, they would know it. Um, so gigantic cranium Gates is now involved. Matt Gates filed an ethics complaint against McCarthy, and he's demanding, quote, an immediate and swift investigation. So, of course, you know, it was Gates who led the charge to kick McCarthy out as House Speaker to begin with and to install a radical extremist Republican successor, Mike Johnson. So 
And McCarthy recently told a news outlet the whole thing is purely personal because Gates blames McCarthy for his own ethics investigation. As you all know, Gates is under House investigation um, for his alleged illegal activity, including sex trafficking of a minor and drug use. So when McCarthy heard that Gates had referred him to the same committee for an ethics review, McCarthy said, quote, oh, good. I think ethics is a good place for Gates to be. So it is so much drama. It's like a, a high school over there again. Um, it, you know, one thing that gives me peace, though, is that there are so many men in charge because, you know, if you had women in charge, we would just we're so we're so emotional. Right. I mean, we, we would just get too emotional and things might get out of control. I mean, look at how many female leaders have started wars. Yeah. Anyway, I love men, but, you know, these men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Links are below in the description box on YouTube and the podcast. Love you all so much. Take care. Talk with you soon.